Most Americans know that there was an early colonial militia, but what was the colonial militia and who made up its ranks? We will be looking at the Virginia Militia Act of 1755. The act was introduced in response to rising tensions and conflicts in the region. The Act of 1755 called for the formation of a provincial militia and established the framework for organizing and training the militia forces. The militia was organized into county-based units known as regiments, with each regiment divided into companies and led by commissioned officers. The act mandated that all free males between the ages of 16 and 60 should be enrolled in the militia and be available for service when needed. Every footman was to have a firelock, a bayonet, a cutting sword, a double cartouche box, and three charges of powder. At home, he was supposed to have one pound of powder and four pounds of ball. To maintain readiness, the company commander mustered his men every three months. This is how an average Virginia militiaman would have been dressed. I'm wearing a linen hunting shirt and a Virginia round hat. If you want to know more about the linen hunting shirt, I made a little short about that. Check that out. If you want more Revolutionary War content, subscribe to the channel.